Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, as you saw in the previous video, we finally have got the external wastegate and billet turbo setup on the STI Dyno tested with some pretty surprisingly good results. But uh, one thing I was wondering was how much turbo lag could be eliminated by going for a billet turbo setup. So before installing the turbo, I went and did a couple of draggy runs to test how much uh, of a difference the billet turbo wheel would have made it. I did a 5 to 40 run, a 5 to 100 run, as well as a 30 to 100 run, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go and watch the before clips first before going to the after clips. Okay guys, so we are here now with all the stuff we need. Um, basically how we're going to do this test is using a draggy GPS performance meter, uh, which I have attached right here in the window frame. And basically I have listed the tests as 5 to 100, 5 to 40, 30 to 100, and 30 to 120. So this will hopefully eliminate the abusive launch that takes out quite a lot of time and see truly how much of a difference uh, it'll have by going to a hybrid turbo with a billet wheel uh, in comparison to the stock turbo and it's notorious turbo lag so without further ado let's begin AC off so we have to be at Right about idle. Here we go. And one twenty. And let's see the times we got. Uh, so the five to forty took two point nine five, the five to a hundred took seven point four nine. The 3280 took 3.24, the 3200 took 5.11, and the 32120 took 6.87. Quite a big difference between how fast this car is with the launch. From 0 to 100, this takes like 5.2, and here it's 7.5, all because of the turbo lag. So, um, yeah, let's just keep going for more runs for consistency. Get it down to the speed we need. And there we go, that's the second run. So, uh, the 5 to 40 took 3.09, 5 to 100 took 7.52. 30 to 80 took 3.35, 30 to 100 took 5.15, and 30 to 120 took 6.95. So now uh, all that's left to do is skip forward, I guess, to when we have the billet turbo wheel installed on the car. Yeah, with the power of editing, let's skip forward. Okay, guys, so we finally have the hybrid billet turbo setup and also the external wastegate setup which i honestly didn't expect that i would go for but the internal wastegate turns out was already cracked so might as well since we already had the whole turbo uh taken apart so we're at a similar location at the similar time and temperature and we're gonna do the tests with the draggy just like last time and we're gonna see how much of a difference it has made to the car's performance so Let's wait for traffic to clear up and then try it out. The first run, the 5 to 40 took 2.44, the 5 to 100 took 6.98, the 
the 3280 took 2.68, the 3200 took 4.52, and the 3220 took 6.56 seconds. So if I'm not wrong, that is already a pretty substantial improvement over how fast uh, the car was previously, or rather how laggy the car was previously. So yeah, that shows that uh, going for a billet turbo and an external wastegate setup is a pretty huge improvement uh, for how much you're actually paying instead of going for a big turbo where you have to go for a new clutch, fuel system, internals, and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully this is a good reference for you guys out there. So let's go for the second round for, uh, I guess, consistency. Okay, so let's get ready for the second run. And let's go. should be the last run let's go find a place where we can actually park before uh, reading out the results don't uh, be on your phone while driving people so the 5 to 40 took 2.59 the 5 to 100 took 7.12 the 3280 took 2.87 the 3200 took 4.72 and the 3200 and the 32120 took 6.82. So, still a bit of an improvement over the previous setup, but it appears that we're starting to get a bit of heat soak, which is, I guess, understandable considering the country I'm living in. Mind you, this is also on the lower boost setting. Yesterday it was on the 1.2 bar setting that makes about 270 wheel horsepower. Now it's on the wastegate 0.8 bar setting, which makes about 240 wheel horsepower if I'm not wrong. So despite that lower figure, the car is actually faster, which I guess uh, is partly due to the different power band caused by the billet wheel and the external wastegate setup, where the billet wheel reduces turbo lag and the external wastegate setup actually improves the top end and uh, holds the boost steady so that it doesn't drop at higher PMs, which is the problem we were having with the previous internal wastegate setup where it would target for 1.2 bar and then drop to 0.9 bar as you saw in the before video. So yeah, uh, I'll leave a table showing the difference in uh, results right now. And hopefully this is a good reference for you guys who are wanting to upgrade your car's turbo but don't exactly have the funds or want to go to a big turbo setup. This car is still on the stock fuel system and also the stock uh, clutch. And as you can see, it is holding up perfectly fine. I've been driving this car as my daily for about 500 kilometers by now on this setup and it's been dead reliable. So yeah. That is all for this video guys. If you guys enjoyed or found it helpful, please do leave a like and comment down below if you have any video suggestions or critiques. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video where we go to the track for the JDM Hot Lap Challenge. If you guys would like to see that, do subscribe so you can keep up to date with future content. That's all for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and goodbye.